Who is that babe? NDA babe. Oh, do you have to be told? Oh boy. Or oh, can't you see a camouflage? Man, she must be on break from a military school. Wow, God. Sweet girl. I want to drive in. Uh, Auntie Lolita is not in. She went out since afternoon. Uh, yes. All right. Tell her to call me when she gets back that I'm back on holiday. Okay. Okay, okay Auntie. All right. Take yeah. care. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kenneth. Uh, on second thoughts, let me wait for her inside. But the door is locked. It's okay. I'll wait for her in the compound. Sense. I don't understand what you're saying. Faithful to who? What? Who? I met again now, four months ago. The same week you went back to military school after the last holiday. He cannot promise me heaven and earth. He cannot promise me marriage. It was not because of him I let go of my fiance, Gabriel. You know, Gabriel? Wait. Wait. Was that the real reason you left Gabriel? And you never told me. And I carry on, I'm listening. He came and just walked into his house where I was waiting for him. Since I had the key to his apartment, I called him and told him I was going to his house. Okay. He said okay that he was going to join me. Only for him to walk in with one little girl and introduce her to me as his girlfriend. He did what? We are not really? What kind of a guy is that? You are not as shocked as I was. I asked again now if he was kidding. And he started yelling and shouting that he needed a change. 
He was tired of kissing and, and sleeping with the same woman. That he has moved on with his life. That I should move on with my life. That if I thought he was going to marry me, that I was a jester. You know I mean? I felt like commanding the crown to open and swallow me. I just stood up and fled from the house. I have never had this type before. Never have I. Since then, I've tried calling him to at least know what I've done wrong. But anytime I call him on the phone, all he kept on saying was, Go, go, I've had enough of you. But why would he even date such a guy in the first place? I mean, didn't you see any signs? He was very nice to me at the beginning. He treated me like, like I was the most important part of his existence. Oh, that's a real sign of a playboy. They come out very perfect at the beginning. Real men don't come out as perfect. They make mistakes, but with time they learn and stick with you. <gasps> you hear me? I'm left with no pride. My heart is broken. Listen, get yourself together, okay? Stop crying. Maybe tomorrow we'll go to his house, and then maybe two of you can talk and you can talk some sense into him. Maybe you did something, or maybe... I've not done anything wrong. I did nothing wrong. Okay, okay, fine, fine. We still have to go, okay? Two of you need to talk, all right? and see him alone. I don't want him thinking I've come to get the third party in already. Or that I've come to discuss him with my friends. It will hurt his feeling. Lolita, you really love this guy. I mean, you still care so much about his feelings. I can't help it. I still love him. That's the sense behind my trying to make up with him. Okay, no problem. Go ahead, I'll wait for you in the car. What's still keeping Ike now? Didn't you tell him I'm still here waiting for him? Ike is getting dressed. You know, we were just going out before you came. But relax. I'm sure he'll be here very soon. You know, Ike is a very fine man. Oh, and he takes his time while getting dressed. And stop acting up. I mean, before you, somebody else must have dated him. So it follows. <laughs> Maybe now is just your time to go. You're very stupid. More stupid and dumb than I thought. A man leaves another woman for you. And you think he wouldn't leave you tomorrow for another woman. Just like he did with the first lady. 
Well, I don't care, my dear. You see, um, I'll just enjoy it while it lasts. You know, Ike is a very, very nice man. And um, you weren't just good for him, but I am good for him. Oh. Just look, war is good enough for him. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to get him back. That's just what I'm here to do. <laughs> Go on, baby. Try your best. And I'll just um, be here and watch you waste your time and make an even bigger fool of yourself than you did before. You know why? I'm here to stay. Reminds me, I complained about your personal hygiene. He said he had to hold his breath each time he kissed you because your breath was reeking of garlic. Oh, really? Yes. You know what? I have nothing to say to an overconfident, foul-mouthed slut like you. I want to assure you of one thing. He's going to dump you sooner than you think. I promise you that. <laughs> well, let's watch and see. Ike! Ike, darling. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Please call him your ex from this house. Because she's giving me help. I still love you. So at least find out what I've done wrong to deserve all you do. Come on, baby, please. You can't just let go of what both of us have like that. Did you just say have? Had. Had. Because it's in the past now. And who says I can't? Have. Not had, Gina. I've been good to you. I've treated you very well. I've not been demanding. Emotionally or materially. I've not been selfish. I've not stood on your way. I always gave you space when you needed it. I was there for you when you needed company. I shared your dreams with you. I shared your bed with you again. I loved you. So tell me, what did I do wrong? Out. Just get out of my house right now. Is that all you have to say? Are you this house? You heard him. He's had enough of your love. Considerate nature and selfless sacrifice. He wants mine now. So why don't you just um, beat it? You stay out of this. You foul, mounted, egocentric disgrace to women. Did you just hear that? Oh my God. 
my cup, please. It was fun while it lasted. I don't owe you, you don't owe me. Do you understand that? Don't ever come to my house again to disturb my life. You owe me an explanation, Ikena. What have I done wrong? I want to know what I've done wrong. Listen, woman, I owe you nothing. Okay? Whatever I felt for you in the past is dead now. You are history. You saw Halima in there, didn't you? That's the new love of my life. So be it. I'm happy now. At least she didn't say I did anything wrong. I'm happy. I don't ever want to see you here again. Is that clear? Is this what you've been going through? You've seen it yourself, Yemi. You've seen it yourself, Yemi. That's the thing Ikena is leaving me for. Oh, that's his new girl. Yes, her name is Halima. Oh. Why do women always do this? Why do they always let their men use them to fight fellow women? Please, Yemi, take me out of here. Just take me out of here, Yemi. Lima for me. I want you to punish him for me. I beg your pardon. If I can have him, and then that girl he's dating now can have him either. You're beautiful. You're my friend. He doesn't know you. What of you haven't met? <sighs> so it's easy. We'll plan how both of you would meet. He likes women. He would want to date you or have a fling with you. Then you can deal with him for me. Show him pepper. Then you can break his heart too. Okay. And how am I supposed to achieve this if he doesn't love me? You make him fall in love with you. And if he doesn't? Look, look, it's a game of revenge. Let's try it first. 
There's nothing wrong in trying. You just have him eating out of your palms. Then you can break his heart for me. Oh, Lolita. This is strange. Come on. Will you do it for me? Will you? Hell yeah! I'm ready to play. What's your plan? Thanks for listening to me, because she would have hurt you or you would have hurt her. It's okay, I, I just hope she didn't hurt you. No, I'm not. But I just hope she doesn't attack me on my way home. She doesn't have such guts. A lady who attacks you with an iron rod doesn't have the guts to attack me. Listen, I know Lolita very well, okay? I'm even surprised she could even come here to make her um, trouble. Is that her name? Yeah. Is she your girl? Well, she's my ex. We broke up, but she has refused to take it in good faith. Oh, now I get the picture. Well, good luck, mister. My name is Ikenna. 
You can call me Ike. Okay. My name is Oyeyemi. Well, you can call me Yemi. Oh. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Can I call you Oye? <laughs> You're very beautiful. Thank you. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a student at the Defense Academy, NDA. Oh, really? No one knows where the urge and um, bravery to defend me came from. <laughs> Next time you see a woman wielding an iron rod, you run. I definitely will. I mean, especially when Oye is not in sight. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, I have to start going. No, no, I'm, I would like you to come in and have a drink with me. I'm liking you already. No, maybe some other time. Okay, uh, but do you have a phone number? I mean, can I call you sometime? Sure, why not? Smashing his head at some point. Oh, you try. You try. The act you put up there could have convinced anyone. I don't even know why you're not acting in this uh, uh, Nigerian movie itself. You too, girl. You didn't do badly at all. Me? I was freaking out. <laughs> what are you drinking? Cold water. I need down. I don't. I'll die. Yeah. I beg you, ah. girl, you need that more. So how far? How did you go put him in there? Was his new girl in? That's your ex-boyfriend. He was practically begging me to come into his house. Oh, you're so beautiful. What's your name? The guy already shortened my name from Oye and me to Oye. Took my phone number and that he wanted to see me again. Now wow. Now wow. Hello? Mr. Yes, I hear me speaking. Who is this? Uh, yeah. How are you feeling now? What does he want? Can you, can you repeat it? I, I can't really hear you. I'm listening. You want me to have a drink with you this evening? Uh, let me see. Tell him you see him tomorrow. In short, tell him you are not sure of tomorrow that you check your schedule first. Don't make it easy for him at all. Uh, hello? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. It's, uh, my schedule this evening is really tight. Tell me something. Why don't I check my schedule for tomorrow evening and then I'll let you know. You can call me same time tomorrow. It's okay. No problem. Fine, I'll save your number now. Got some shot. Uh, Got some shot. I'm fine. I'm at home. Where else will I be? No, I don't live with my parents. My parents don't live in this country. You don't have to know the country. Got some shot. Don't stretch the conversation. Don't let him feel comfortable with you yet. Let him find between you. I know. Uh, you know what? Look, you, you're going to have to call me back tomorrow, okay? I'm really busy. So why don't you drop and call tomorrow? Uh, no, not this night. I said tomorrow night. Uh, all right, bye-bye. Bye. That's my girl. So he can a baby for me. Have him eating for me, please. You bet I will. I think I'll start by causing some trouble. I'll call him tonight when he's in bed with his girl. <laughs> That's my girl! Ha! He can now. By the time I finish with him.
Hello, dear. Hello, Rikena. What's wrong? Yeah, hello, hello. Um, hello? Sp speak louder, I can't hear you. Uh, just, just hold on. Why are you whispering? I said I can't hear you. Be audible, please. Or is something wrong with your voice? somebody in my house? Come on, what do you take me for? I hardly go out and yeah, I like it that way. I mean, I'm happy. But I'll be happier when I see you tomorrow. Why? Oh, come on, I told you I've started liking you already. Baby, it's not every day that a young man gets to be helped out by, the, by a young and drop-dead gorgeous student of the Defense Academy. Thanks for calling. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Good night. Since when did you become a garden angel who stands behind me, watches over me, and listens to my conversation? Come on, don't just sit there and keep quiet on me like I did something terribly wrong to you. I have nothing to say to you, Ken. Come on, go ahead, do something, okay? Shout, scream, call me names, break something. I mean, you just caught me talking to another girl. This is the way girls like you react. Good night again. You can join me if you're sleeping. All right. Fine. Fine. You can have it your way, okay? I'm going to the sitting room and I'm going to drink myself to stupor. What do you mean? 
you that we're not through yet. I mean, we're barely two weeks old in this relationship, and already you're cheating on me. I didn't cheat on you. I only took a phone call. And when did you start equating cheating with taking a phone call? You know what? Your ex was right. She told me you would dump me faster than you dumped her. So I'm giving you space. Enough space to play. By the time you are done playing, why don't you give me a call if you're still interested in this relationship? And then I'll come back to you. Come on, baby. You, you don't have to leave. I mean, we can talk this over. What exactly do you want from me, Ike? I won't fight over you, and you know that. And I won't behave like your ex and yell and scream my head off. I have some dignity here, man. So please, just let me go, please. Hi, Yemi. How you doing? Uh, where are you now? Um, I would like to see you right away. Come on, please. I would like to see you right now. Okay, uh, okay. I'll wait till the evening then. But please make sure you come around and don't keep me waiting. All right. See you later. Bye. How do I look? Fabulous. Are you sure? Gorgeous. Thank you. So, I guess we're all set then. Set.
Hi. Aren't you gonna ask me? Please forgive me, my dearest boy. You look rather smashing this evening. I'm sorry, please. Come inside. You like what I'm wearing? What you're wearing is beautiful. But the person wearing it is the most beautiful. Thank you. Come on, baby, come give me a hug. Not so fast. Have you forgotten your manners? What is wrong with giving you a harmless hug? Well, I determine what is harmless or not in my life. Baby, that was rather rude shoving me back just like that. Well, I think I'd rather leave now if you're going to be insolent and tell me I'm rude. You must be kidding. Am I? Stop invading my phone, okay? If you don't know how to respect women, then go and learn from your grandmother. Hello. Hello. Hello, baby. Hey, what? What did I do wrong? Okay, whatever it is, okay? I'm sorry, babe. Could you just come back? Please? Oh, my goodness. But do you think it's cool to call him now? I mean, just now that you walked out on him. Girlfriend, 
Listen, this is the best time. Men have too much resilience. The secret is, when you hurt them, never leave them for too long on their own. They heal fast. Never let the fire get cold. Mm. Did they teach you that in the military school too? Do I blame you? Why don't you ask me if they teach us how to cook or how to play ten in military school? Go girl, call him. That's what I'm doing. Hello? Hi, Kenna, darling. I'm fine. No. No, I'm not angry with you anymore. Listen, um, can you meet me tomorrow morning at the Dom Lach? That is if you're free. You're free? Hmm, are you sure you're free? Yeah. No business appointments. Okay, uh, let's say 9 a.m. then. Okay, see you tomorrow, darling. Bye. God. So what's your plan this time around? We have a date. I know. What's your plan? Wait till tomorrow comes. Oh, girl? <laughs> I guess this is what it means when you say a woman is driving a man crazy. Hmm. Hello, Chris. Um, I would like us to reschedule uh, tomorrow morning's appointment. Yeah, I won't be able to make it. Uh, something just came up. What do you mean it's important? Didn't you hear what I just said? I said something just came up and you're talking about it being important. Do you know what came up and do you know how important it is to me? someone else. I'm very sorry. You better be sorry, my dear, because my boyfriend doesn't take this kind of thing lightly.
Yemi. I thought we were supposed to meet at the Dome La. You just kept me waiting. I even tried calling your mobile phone number, but it was switched off. I changed my mind. I decided to come here instead. You should have at least called to let me know. Well, I'll be here now. That's what matters. Oh. Are you angry? No, no because mind. if you're angry, I better be going. An angry man can't make good company. No, 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 no. I'm not angry. I'm not angry, but let's just go into my house, okay? Must we? Must we what? I mean, must we go inside? Why can't we just stay here just a little, then I'll go. Come on, Yemi. We can't be out here. Besides, the sun is burning hot. Let's just go into the house, okay? Please. Everything I've always wanted in a woman. Really? Yeah. Oh. You've got the poise, the elegance, the beauty, the charisma, the touch. Everything. Just name it. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. Um, Ikana dear, mm? uh, can I use your sister's toilet? Ah. Can you help me make sure it's clean? No, you don't have to use my Vistos toilet. You can come use the one in my bedroom. I said I want to use the Vistos toilet, not the one in your bedroom. All right, come, I'll show you. Can you go ahead and make sure it's clean? Is it such a big deal, is it? All my toilets are always clean. But if you insist, I'll go check it out for you, just to please you.
It doesn't matter, okay? The most important thing is that you're not hurt. Ikenna. Yeah? Are you sure this is not an inferior glass cup? Why? I mean, where did they manufacture it? I imported them. Because the ones that I use are solid, made in Nigeria. You need to order some solid glass cups for yourself. Let me order your champagne glasses for you while I order mine. They don't break easily, even if they fall. I'm sorry I broke your champagne glass. No, 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 it's okay. Um, you don't have to apologize, okay? I should be the one saying sorry. I mean, what if the broken glass had injured you in some way? Abby. I'm really sorry. to your bedroom. Huh? I feel woozy. I think it's the drink. I want to sleep. Oh, come on, baby. You don't have to explain, okay? I'll take you straight to my bedroom. Right. Just, just, just watch it, Rosie. glasses in the living room need to be swept. No, don't misunderstand me. I would have done it if I wasn't feeling so drunk and woozy. But, but that, uh, that can... By the way, come here. <laughs> Not so fast. The glasses are still waiting to be swept. There's a power. Thanks for understanding. You don't have to thank me, okay? I mean, it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. I'll be right back to get you. Okay. taking so long for me to get this girl. Anyway, the vulture is such a patient bird. I'll take my time. But when I finally have her, I will turn her up and down. Even more than the way she's treating me now.
Ain't you sleeping anymore? No, I have to leave. Something came up. You know what? I have to meet to at Jerry's. 8 p.m. You know Jerry's, don't you? Of course I do. Fine, I'll be there at 8 But you, you can't leave just like that. I mean, we've not even spent time together. Besides, I have to cancel all my business appointments just to be with you. See you later, okay? Yemi? Yemi? Like ages. Hello. Come on, Ikena. <laughs> Don't treat me like some piece of rubbish you dumped. Hey, what do you really want from me? You expect me to be nice to you after the stupid and crazy act you put up in my house the last time? Look, you just gave yourself the most apt description. A dumped piece of rubbish. If you don't mind, I got a date to catch up. Coming after you. I hope you've not been waiting for too long. I see you have no respect for women. That was a woman like me you just insulted. Don't you know her? That's my ex. I mean, she's the reason why we're together today. Don't you remember? My ex who wanted to break my head with an iron rod until you intervened. So what? A woman is a woman and deserves respect. Ex or no ex. And if your ex keeps coming up to you, whenever she bumps into you, it only means she must have really loved you or still loves you. Or maybe you must have hurt her deeply. Well, oh yeah. She's in my past now, okay? It's about you and I now. Oh. Which simply puts that when I'm in your past, like you say, You'll treat me the same way. Which also means that you're just being nice to me now because you have not had your ways with me. The moment you do, Oyeyemi becomes part of Ikena's past. Oh, yeah, what, what? Come on. Is this the reason why we came here? Can we just put this whole thing aside and have a lovely evening together? I think you should apologize to her. Excuse me? Apologize to her, Ikena. It doesn't matter if you dumped her or she dumped you. It doesn't matter. You have no right to insult her the way you just did now. Me? Apologize to? <laughs> and what if I say no? What, what if I don't apologize? Then I'll walk out of this place and I'll never come back. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're kidding, right? Don't dare me, Ikena. I haven't got patience or time for a man who doesn't have respect for my fellow woman. Oh yeah, but you don't even know this girl. I mean, what's your problem with her anyway? Why are you so concerned? Why am I so concerned about her? <laughs> Good night, Ikenna. This is over. 
Don't even bother calling me. You see what you cost? You see what you just cost? You've ruined my evening. I mean, my, my girl sympathizes with you. I hope you're going to have a lovely night, okay? I'm sure you're happy now, ain't you? Get some brandy here. Make it a double. Lolly, mm -hmm. it is done. I came into his life just as you wanted. Mm -hmm. Snatched him from his girlfriend teased his manhood all over the place <laughs> and then dumped him. I bet he has a very low self-esteem by now. Mm. So right now, I'm signing off officially from duty. Let's celebrate. The heartbreaker has been paid back in his own coins. At least wherever Ike now is now, he won't be sleeping well this night. We have won the battle. Mm. The real war now remains for every woman to wage. I make a toast to every woman who has ever stood up for herself or her fellow woman. To us and all true sisters out there who know their what. And also to all brothers and men who respect their women and know their worth. Cheers. So, what next? For me, time to face business squarely. I'll be traveling to Dubai in three days' time to buy gold for my shop. You don't say. Mm. You go, girl. Anyway, as for me, I'll be cruising and enjoying the rest of my holidays. Just let me know when you get back. Hey, it's not like I'm going tomorrow. Mind me, I'm missing you already. Missing me? <laughs> How am I your boyfriend? I get. Aggregates. Uh, for the grace of God, I know I get one. Amen. A nice one. And not the likes of Ike <laughs> You will go, you will. Ah. Definitely. I mean, we will oh go, both God. of us. Just relationships. Just mm. good girl. relationships. Good one, good man. Man. Good man. Good man. I think I'm getting tipsy. I do. Please let's get tipsy. That's the spirit. I feel okay. like iron. More girl. <laughs> more, 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 more. Mm. Really, really, really very, very, very oh, happy. Yeah, for short. <laughs> My name is Oye. Oye, oh, yeah, yeah. Call me Oye oh, oh, yeah, yeah, for short. <laughs>
What's your idea of a joke? Oh yeah, look, I'm the happiest man in my life today. I'm so happy I met you on the road. Look, I didn't want to call you on phone because I knew you weren't going to take my call. So where have you been? Get your car out of my way. I told you I was done with you and I meant it. Baby, listen, listen. If it's about my ex that you insisted I had to apologize to, I would have done that, but unfortunately she's out of the country. I mean, I would have recorded the apologies on tape and I would have played it right here for you to listen. How can you tell if she's traveled or not? Because I went to her house. The old man from Mansa Gate told me that she left the country to Dubai about a week ago. You see? Can I go now? Get your car out of my way, please. Baby, listen. I, I mean, I've, I've gone crazy without you. My life is worthless without you. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Let's go to a cyber cafe together right now. All right? I will write her a mail right in front of you and apologize to her. If that's what it's gonna to take to have you back. <laughs> yeah. Ikena, you amuse me, please. So why don't you go back to your other girlfriend? Your ex after the ex I met you fighting with. Because I am through with you. We are done. It's not like we've had anything serious in the first place. I don't go back on my tracks when I leave. If I'm gone, baby, I'm gone. Oh, you listen, baby. Look, look. Okay. You think I'm kidding? All right, just watch this. Hello, everyone! Look! This is the love of my life. She's the best girl I've ever seen in my life. She's all I ever wanted. Look! Can you hear me? Oh, do you believe me now? Are you going to come back to me? No. All right. I'll go more crazy. Look! She's the sexiest, sexiest, cutest, slimmest. She's a bomb! Hey, I mean, she's a Can you stop it this minute? Okay. Baby, you gonna come back? No. All right. Look, look, I will live for her. I will die for her. I will talk for her. Man, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I said, this is the best girl of my life. She's the love of my life. I'll do anything for her. I want the whole world to hear me. Can look, I... baby, she's all I ever wanted. She's enough, my wife. Enough, enough, enough. I'm ready to tell the whole world what you mean to it's me. Okay, you don't know how much you mean to me, baby. I, you don't I will, know. I will come back to you. Are you sure? Yes. I ain't kidding you, okay? You gonna come back to me? I will come back to you. For real? For real. You're gonna drive right behind me, just cause for celebration. Let's go pop some champagne, baby. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah! Why? Come on, baby. Mm. Come here, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. I missed you so much, baby. You don't know how much I missed you, baby. Come on, just come right behind me. Let's go pop some champagne. Hey, baby. Did I tell you today is the happiest day of my life? Did I? Yeah, I think I did. I did, right? Okay, just come right behind me, baby. Come on. No. Come on, let's go pop to the bank. Oh, yeah, baby. Girlfriend, guess who I ran into again today? Ikena. Ah, how did you guess? 
Anyway, you're right. And what did he want? <laughs> My dear, he said he wanted to apologize to you so I could uh, come back into his life. According to him, he wanted to apologize to you and record it in the tape and play it for me after apologizing to you. Can you imagine? Real love day. <laughs> oh my god. That guy is silly. He's so lustful towards you. That's why he won't give up until he has taken you to bed. I think we let him go so easily the first time. Maybe we should deal with him for that. Wait, 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 wait. Molly, are you suggesting that I want my way back into his life, hurt him and his ego some more? Exactly. Exactly, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Lolly, look. No, no, listen. I think we should forget about him. All right, let's just end it. Yeah, me. This guy wants you. And you're the only one that can help me deal with him. Since he does not want to respect himself and forget about you, wrap him around your little finger and play games with his heart. Hmm. His desire, you mean? Because I'm definitely not in his heart. I actually wonder if he has one at all. Yes, play games with his heart. His desire, whichever one he brings forward, scatter it for him. Yes. Ah, see me, see this guy. Please, I beg, just deal with him for me. What nonsense. Ha, ha, I will make sure. Ha, God, uh, I'll have the last laugh. you see now. Ha, ha, you won't try. Now, me now. Ha, ha. Hey, Lolita, Lolita, me. <laughs> oh, girl. Okay. Well. All right then, no problem. I'll speak to you later, okay? Okay. Take care. Bye bye. I'm so happy you're back. You see, I was just about leaving because your sister told me you went out. I have a phone, Mike. Baby, this is not something we can talk about over the phone. What do you want to talk about? Us, baby. You and I. Us doesn't exist. You and I are over. That's, that's the reason why I'm here. I want us back together again. You hurt me once, Ike. And I won't give you the chance to hurt me again. Never. I'm sorry. What do you expect from me, Ike? What? You want me to run into your arms, kiss your face and your feet? Strike my chest softly and say, oh, my love is back. What do you expect from me, Ike? I mean, you humiliated me once, Ike. And once is enough. Holly, listen. I, I know you're not such a hard girl. I mean, I know you're not so hard-hearted. I know you're an easygoing person and you have the spirit of forgiveness. Don't try to play hard like those crazy girls out there in the streets. I mean, I know your nature, baby. That's why you took advantage of me? Because I'm soft. That's why you hurt me? <sighs> Listen, baby, I, I have a weakness for women. I know it's a fault I have in me, but I'm willing to change just because of you. I mean, I've even dumped the other girl already. Please. You know what? Let's go somewhere and talk. But, if you ever hurt me again, Ike, I will never come back to you. And I mean it. Baby, I'm never gonna hurt you again. I promise. I, I, I cross my heart. C -c Can we go now? Let's go. That's my baby. Let's go, baby.
You see, the fact that a guy cheats on his girl with another girl doesn't mean that um, they've stopped loving the girl. You see, it's just a physical thing, you know? Sometimes it's born out of curiosity. I mean, the man just wants to be adventurous. But his love still remains in his heart. You know, that's the difference between a man and a woman. A man can cheat on his girlfriend and still love her the same. That's not true. In that case, a woman can cheat on a man and still love the one she loves. Oh, come on, babe. What are you talking about? For a woman to cheat on a man, emotions must be involved. She must have made up her mind to love the man less. You know, but any woman who truly loves a man can never cheat on him. Some businessmen sleep with men for contracts, and they still love their men nonetheless. Come on, you're talking about business women. These women don't even know what true love is all about. I can't believe you're saying this. Listen, listen, listen. They only sleep with men for money, or just to enhance their business. you after I dumped him. Oh, sweetheart, for how long are you going to live your life being the last resort? Being the last alternative since nothing else has worked out? I beg your pardon? For how long are you going to continue to be the girl her guy goes back to when every other girl won't accept him? Huh? Kenna has told me all about you. But I must say I'm surprised. You are quite good looking, you know. I just didn't expect you to be so cheap. Get out! Well, my dear, for very obvious reasons bordering on discipline and who I am, I will strike you back in retaliation. Now, get out! You are nothing but an intruder. Let's get something straight. For me, he dumped you before, and for me, he will dump you again. Do you want to bet? <laughs> you obviously have a very foul mouth. But let me correct you about something. Ike didn't dump me. I left him. I left him over a call he received. I left him begging and pleading for me to come back. I left with my pride. I wasn't dumped. And for heaven's sakes, I don't even know who you are. Well, let's just say I'm your worst nightmare. I'm the same girl you were speaking with on the phone. The phone call you just referred to. <laughs> you know what? I don't have time for people like you. You are just an ego boosting mind. Ike will come and sort this out. Excuse me. There's a girl outside claiming to be the love of your life. How come? I thought you were through all these sort of complications and embarrassments in this relationship, eh, Ike? What, what girl? <laughs> She's out there. Listen, Ike. I'm not ready for any form of a headache in this relationship anymore. Please. So why don't you just be a responsible guy? Go out there and tell her to leave. You should just 
really a girl out there looking for me? I mean, what, what sort of rubbish is that? Listen, girl. I want you to understand something. No girl can ever come between us again. Even if she's Miss World. I'm just gonna go out there and check out who it is, okay? Don't worry. Your girlfriend to assault me. Who, who pushed you? You mean Halima pushed you? Oh, yes. And I let her go scot free because I'm in a military school. I won't stoop so low as to fight in the streets or in people's houses. It's a disrepute to my institution. Come on, baby. You don't have to do that, okay? I will kick her out of this house as soon as you're gone. I just don't want you girls to create a scene here. Please. You can not you said I was the finest, sassiest, sexiest, and smoothest woman you've ever met. So after saying all those things to me, you ran back to her? Come on, baby, you are, okay? Believe me. It's just that you walked away. I thought you were never going to come back. No problem. I can see you're happy now, so I'll be leaving. I wish you all the best with your Halima. Listen, baby, just give me two hours and I'll kick her out of the house. It's you that I want. Whatever, call me when you sort of things out. So yeah, I'll call you sooner than you ever expect, okay? Whatever. Hi, right, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss you. I love you. Don't worry, I'll see you soon, baby. Sent her away. Sure, baby, I've sent her away. I mean, can you imagine the stupid girl coming here by this time? A time I'm just trying to win back your confidence. Anyway, who is she? She's my ex. Your ex? I thought Lolita was your ex. Come on, baby. I dated her after you left, okay? But I just had to leave her and come back to you because you're my life. playing games with me. I mean, are you for real? Sure, baby, I'm for real. Come here. Don't worry, she's never gonna come here again. I'm 
Halima, look, you, you don't have to do this. Halima, you don't have to do this, okay? It's not what you think. Listen, Halima, I, I just had to lie to her so that she could leave us alone in peace. Please. Baby, you don't have to do this, okay? Don't, don't do touch me. Don't you think you're overreacting? I, I, I did nothing wrong. Halima, are you living with my phone too? Outside in my bare body. Disgrace? I haven't even disgraced you half as much as you disgraced me, Ike. Halima, okay. I'm sorry, okay? You, you don't have to go. Look, Ike, I told you before that if ever I had cause to leave you again, I would never come back. And I wasn't joking, Ike. So Halima, look, it's not like I don't love you, okay? Halima, I, I don't know what is wrong with me. Goodbye, Ike. Wow, what a cute, lovely place you got. Nice enough for a lady, though. Thank you. This is where I live. Well, I have a surprise for you in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Oh, yes. But you have to close your eyes again. I'll read you. What? I have to close my eyes again? Yes, oh. You're not taking me to the slaughterhouse. Why don't you just wait and find out? Okay. Oh. Let's see. I'm gonna climb up. This is romantic. I'm sure Shakespeare's bathroom must have been like this. <laughs> anyway, take off your clothes and soak yourself in the bathtub. Hey, oh. I have paid my personal yoga instructor to give you a taste of the surreal world. Really? Yes. Baby, <laughs> you're killing me softly, you know? I haven't even started yet. Really? Yes. <laughs> 
There's a knock on the door. I'm sure that's him. Um, get in the bathtub while I let him in, okay? Okay. <laughs> Shut your eyes slowly. Be silent. Just breathe and relax. Give him a sip. Imagine you are in paradise. Listen to the music. Imagine it's coming from the saxophone of angels. Slowly take yourself out of here in your mind. Relax. Breathe slowly. Imagine you are not in this world. No wars. No sickness. No police. No traffic jams. No hunger. No tears. No pains and sorrows. Only a vast and wide blue sea. Blue skies and sunsets. Be calm. Be silent. Touch his forehead with a soft finger. Slide your hand slowly down to his torso. Touch him. Touch him. This is the meaning of true harmony. This is how God's word should be. Serene, silent, relaxed, and peaceful. Everything swinging in harmony, peace and calmness. You are a soul loved by God, divinely guarded. You are a soul flying across the seas, free, boundless, free. I think he has slept. Everybody sleeps when they find peace. I feel so fresh and uh, 
alive. I mean, I feel brand new. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was my personal yoga instructor. He's very good. Good is an understatement. I mean, he took me on a soul trip. You can do it on your own. It's very easy. I do it on my own all the time. Especially when, I had a, when I've had a very stressful day. Really? Now I know why I'm so attracted to you. I mean, Yemi, you're just a different kind of girl. I mean, you're one hell of a girl. You no longer call me Oye. Oye? Yeah? I think I'm in love with you. Did you hear me? I mean, right from the first day I met you, I mean, right from the first day you, you helped me out, I've never, I mean, I've never felt the same again. I mean, it's like you stole my heart away. Yeah. Don't you feel angry for me? instructor to give him a treat and now you see you feel sorry for him come on girl where is your hardness i think you were supposed to be rugged oh fine fine you can back out if you don't want to do it anymore for me or you stay in and put him real deep for me especially now that he, he has fallen in love for real with you honestly lolita why don't you forget this revenge thing Forget about this guy, and I forget him too, and we move on. This revenge thing is going too far. No way. You're my best friend, and I asked you for this one favor. So you be a good girl and do it for me. So are you in or out? I'm in. Good. That's my girl. I knew I could always count on you. So. So, what's up? What's there? Oh, nothing much. I'm just trying to enjoy the rest of the holidays like I told you I would. And honestly, Lolita, I'm actually getting fed up of this whole, you know, this whole thing. It's just because of you're my best friend and I love you so much. A guy like me meets a girl like you. He instantly starts thinking of one thing. How to shield her away from guys and make her completely his own. Now I know why people get married. Now, what's on that mysterious mind of yours? Catch you again, you dream! <laughs> Funny. Can I spend all the time I spend with you and not feel anything for you? Okay. Of course I feel something for you. So can I get a kiss without you having to struggle with me or trying to put up a fight? Hmm? Back, 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 back here, back here. 
Hello? Yemi, what are you doing? Why are you necking and kissing my ex-boyfriend that way? Ha! You're back? Where, where are you? Anything the matter? I'm in a taxi. I came straight from the airport to your house. I'm close enough to watch you mess up. Listen to me, Lolita. Stop this rubbish. Just stop it. Stop what? Deny it. But you're not kissing my ex-boyfriend with all the reckless abandon in this whole wild world. What? Gosh. Don't sit. Um, you can, uh, I'm, not, I'm not in a very good mood right now. And... All right, uh, I think I'll just leave you in peace, okay? Yeah. Call me up so we can talk about it when you're in a better mood. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, bye. -bye. Just park by that gate. Just park there. Exactly to you, Lolita. I don't understand you. How could you do what I just saw you do outside your house now? Wait. Did you make up your mind in Dubai to come back and quarrel with me? Lolita, you begged me to seduce your ex-boyfriend deeply, get him to fall in love with me, and then dump him. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I did not ask you to smush him, kiss him, cuddle him and cling on to him like I just saw you do outside your house now. Fine. That's it. I've had enough. I'm sick and tired of you and your ex-boyfriend. Both of you can go to hell for all I care. Fine. That's okay by me. You can as well go to hell too. I asked you to hurt him for me and not to snatch him for yourself. Wait, 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 wait. What's in him to snatch? Lolita, what is in your ex-boyfriend for me to snatch? And why were you kissing him? For Christ's sake! Do you know what a kiss is? It is intimate! I was just acting, Lolita. That didn't look like acting to me. I don't even know what to believe in him. I don't know. I know you're in there, I can see your car outside. Yemi, what have I done wrong? Why are you treating me like this? Yemi? Yemi, please!
jump in. What do you want? Please, pardon me. I beg you. But I don't know what I have done. Anything I do this time, you, you just scold me, you shout at me, you talk at me, you talk to me anyhow. Or, or if, if my job does not please you any longer, please, tell me. I will just resign. Please, madam. Just go. You didn't do anything. Don't mind your gate. Thank you, madam. to talk. Okay. I'll be there in a short while. I've come for us to make up. I mean, we are friends. We shouldn't be quarreling because of this guy. We've been friends long before he came along. And we're still going to remain friends long after he's gone. Lolita, are you here to make up with me? Because you really believe in your heart that I had nothing emotional to do with Ikenna, other than what we both planned out. Or are you here to make up with me because you still feel I'm guilty and that there was something emotional between Ikena and I? It doesn't matter. So I mean, we are friends. Ikena may come and go, but I don't want to lose the friendship we've had since secondary school. Listen to me, Lolita. There is nothing between Ikena and I, and there will be nothing between Ikena and I. Ever since that day you saw him here, I've been avoiding him. He's called and called and begged. He's been here several times, sent me text messages, you know, wanting to find out why I've been avoiding him. Here, go through these messages he's been sending to know why I've been avoiding him. Read for yourself. Oh no, I don't have to check it. Checking it means I'm doubting you. No, Lolita, you have to read for yourself. Here, go ahead, okay. read it. Upsets me. I'm sorry. Like I was telling you in there, Ikena is a 419 guy. He has money. He's not losing anything materially now. All you're making him go through is emotional trauma. You have to eat his money now. You have to go back to him and dry his bank account oh. whilst he's keeping your legs closed. 419. No wonder. Eh? It's only those 419 guys who feel women are there for the picking because they have money. Oh, you know what, Yemi? Let's put him in trouble with EFCC. You go back to him, steal some of the fake documents. Then we expose it to EFCC. Girl. There are so many ways to deal with him. Let me just get back to base first with him. Then I'll take it from there. Uh -huh. Oh, he knows what happened. What do you know what happened? <laughs> I can't wait. I really can't wait.
Hi. You didn't tell me you finally got your silver gate, man. Baby. What? I mean, it's been hell staying here without you. Where have you been? I tried the best I could just to reach you, but... What the hell happened, baby? What happened? Is everything all right with you? I can tell from the look on your face that you're not okay. Come on, sweetheart, come and talk to me. Come and sit down, okay? All right. Did somebody beat you up? Um, did anyone insult you or try to harass you? Um, did you lose any of your relatives? My landlord. Your landlord is dead? No. He's threatening to throw me out if I don't come up with a house rent within two days. And somehow I'm just so broke this period. I maintain that flat for my personal use whenever I'm not in school or whenever I'm in Abuja. It's the only true place I can call a home since my parents are not in the country been so stressed out running around looking for money. Is that why you've been avoiding me? All right. How much is the rent? 600,000 naira. Yeah. How many years are you supposed to pay for? One year. Just one year? All right, baby. I'll give you the money. You will? Sure, I will. I just want you to stop bothering yourself, okay? Is that okay? I'll give you the money in cash today. Oh my god, I can't now. Thank you. Anything for you, baby. Okay? I really missed you. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you've been away just because of 600,000 mm hours? -hmm. Mm. That's some change, baby. Yeah. Kenda. Yeah, I just called to say thank you so much. I've paid the rent. That's good, baby. That's good. Um, at least now I'm happy that the burden has been lifted off your shoulder. Yes. Um, something else came up. You know, and I, I don't know how to tell you. Come on. Come on, baby. Just, just tell me, okay? I shall tell you. I'm listening. Just tell me. Yesterday, when I was paying my rent, my landlord said he will sell the house at the expiration of the rent I just paid. He said he will sell it for six million naira. I pleaded with him that I'll be homeless. He now suggested that I should buy the house myself. I told him I had no money. And then he came up with another suggestion that I should. In fact, again, I don't worry. I don't want to bother you. Who says you're bothering me? Come on, baby, you know your problem will always be my problem. When you're happy and happy, I'm happy. When you're sad, I'm sad as well. So go ahead and tell me, what is the problem? Anyway, it's not such a long story. He said if I could give him three million naira to tie the place down so that he won't give it to somebody else, then I'll give him the balance at the end of next year when I have the money. So, you need to come up with three million naira? Yes. And I don't have it. Eh? I was wondering if there was a way you could give it to me. Oh, three million? That's not such a big deal. As long as I'm spending it on you and for you. Um, can you come over to my house this evening and 
pick up the chair? At last. At last? Yeah, at last I'm going to show you just how much I love you. But you've done that already in so many ways. I know, baby. I know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this why you brought me here? You don't have to rush me, Kenna. The kind of girl I am, if you rush me, you lose me. But I've waited for you for quite some time now. Look, I'm a good thing, Ikenna. Good things are better when waited for. Don't worry. I'll give you anything you want when I'm ready. I'll give you so much you'll even beg me to reduce it. But not tonight, I'm not ready yet. Hey, are you angry? Please don't be upset. Sex is not everything. Let's just sleep, okay? Okay? Thank you. Good night. Now, wow. I'm spending all this money on this cheek just for nothing. I don't know for how long I can continue like this. Anyway, there's hope. Slept. I usually wake up at 5 a.m. in school, you know, military training and all that. Um, what are you doing? I'm working. What do you do? Come to think of it, I never really bothered to ask. Yeah, never mind. Internet stuff. How did you guess? Well, you stay at home most of the time. You're always on the internet. It's not like you're freelance at any profession. You womanize and you're rich. So I put two and two together and came up with the answer. Well, I guess you're right. I mean to internet runs, you know. I robbed the white men because they came here and robbed us first. But uh, are you not afraid of EFCC? I hear those guys are tough on economic and financial crimes. So. Oh, baby. They have to catch me first, right? So, what deal are you working on now? I usually don't discuss my deals with babes. Hmm. But I guess you're an exception, because I love you deeply. So can I trust you? Any day, any time, you can trust me. All right. The deal is what? 700 million naira. Which is just about, um... Sixty million dollars? Whoa. Mm-hmm. A white billionaire is involved. You know, he believes I'm in charge of the oil wells in Bios Estates. Baby, as soon as this deal clicks, I'm gonna buy you two Escalates, mm -hmm. one Jaguar, mm -hmm. a house in any part of the world, wherever you choose. Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, can I take a look? Oh, well, sure, why not? Yeah, you can see for yourself. You see, as soon as this deal clicks, I'm going to start off my own business. And then I start to live clean, you know? 
I hope so, though. From the tone of this transaction, mm -hmm. the money should be in your account in less than two weeks. Sure, baby. Fabulous. I wish you good luck, darling. Thanks, my dear. By the way, we're going to be spending the money together. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. And, uh, the man's name is Mr. Christopoulos. <laughs> Sounds like a real movie's name. <laughs> now, Maga, be that now. What do you think? <laughs> Can we get to work? Sure, baby. I've been on this all night while he was sleeping. can have the 60 million dollars to herself. Oh, Lolita, that would be stealing. Besides, if he cannot find out, he will hunt us down to the last place. Mm -hmm. Look, it's better the way we've done it, okay? Just send them the letter uh, telling them, exposing him for the foster that he really is and telling them to desist from doing business with this mm -hmm. Okay, let's bring EFCC in. No, all those entanglements will not be necessary. Let's just leave it this way. All those details in the letter to the millionaire abroad will surely end the deal and end his dreams of, of making $60 million dubiously. Just like that. Okay, send it. Send it, let me see how Ike now will eat $60 million. Send it. <laughs> let him come and eat $60 million. Send it. And it's done! <laughs> <laughs> What's my name? Oh, yeah, yeah. Me? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my god. Mm. <laughs> oh, sweetie? Mm? Just calm down, okay? Uh, it's an international call and it's very important. Okay. Hello, Mr. Christopoulos. How are you today? Are you in Athens yet? What? Who told you that? What are you talking about? That... Someone sent you a mail? Claimed that I'm a fraudster? What? And you investigated my records and found out that the deal was... The deal is not fake! No! No, no, no! Mr. Christopoulos, look! What about the money? What about the 60 million dollars? Hello? Hello? Shit! Shit! This is crazy! What? This is crazy! 700 million naira gone just like that? Just like that? She said, what's the matter? <laughs> Could someone have sent him a mail uh, claiming that I'm a fraud and that the business deal is fake? How could that have happened? This deal was supposed to change my life forever. Am I supposed to spend the rest of my life browsing the night? Sorry. Sorry now. Take it easy. Do, do, do you know what this means? This was supposed to be my biggest break. My biggest break ever. I was supposed to change. I'm, oh my God, look. Oh God, a bad thing has happened. Oh, oh shit. 700 million naira go! Sorry, sweetheart. Take it easy, eh? You don't even understand my language. I mean 700 million going down the drain! This is shit! Shit! Sorry, man. Shit! What? She said I know. Ah. 700 million naira is a lot of money. Ah. It's a lot of money! My biggest Mugu ever. My biggest Mugu.